Question number six, Jacinda Ardern. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Police and asks, does she stand by all of her statements? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr. Speaker, yes, especially in context, and especially where I have said that to blame crime on poverty is so insulting to anybody who doesn't have a lot of money. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary to the Minister. Does she stand by the exact answer she gave yesterday to the Police Association conference when asked this question, quote, do you think your government is doing enough for child poverty and the gap between those that do have and there's those that don't have, end quote, an answer from her which included, it's not that, it's Give people who don't look Give after the their children. The Honourable Judith Well, Mr Collins. Speaker, I'm happy to provide that member with the full question, not a little teeny bit of the question as she's quoted. The question was, Greg mentioned several homicides. I think we're up to nine now, I think. We know we could never have enough resources. You know we couldn't have enough resources in police. We have this chasing our tail scenario that continues on and on and on. If we look at the United Nations, who have just report, released a report on child poverty, and of course, that is where all our recruits come from, continually into gangs, and a lot of our offenders are from that neck of the woods. Do you think your government is doing enough? Then we get to the little bit that Ms Ardern's mentioned. And so my answer was, well, you you know, speaking with my MP for Papakura hat on, so I know something about child poverty, I can tell you we're doing a whole lot more than the UN has ever done. So actually, yes, a hell of a lot more. But just like police, we could always do with more. And one of the things I look at child poverty, actually, I don't see just money or money po poverty. I see a poverty of ideas, a poverty of parental responsibility, a poverty of love. A poverty of caring. Order, Actually, these Order. 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 It's, it's quite Order. a long answer, really. I've Order. 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 I wish to hear the point of my, order. My point of order, sir, is that the length of that answer is only matched by the vacuity of the answer she's giving. And that, again, is not a point of order. And on, order. And on many occasions, again, I've said to that particular member, I determine when the length of answer is excessive, and on that occasion when a quote had been given and the Minister was taking the opportunity to put the quote into full context, whilst it was a very long answer, I thought it was justified. Further supplementary? Supplementary. Supplementary question, uh, Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary. If she stands by her answer at the Police Association conference yesterday that also included, quote, in New Zealand there is money available to everyone who needs it, end quote, how does she explain the high levels of income poverty in this country? The Honourable Judith Well, Collins. Mr Speaker, I am, of course, the Minister of Police. If that member wants to ask a question specifically about child poverty, she should have the gumption to ask the Minister Order. in charge of that area. Order. Instead, Order. I'm Order. Happy. Order. The member will stand and withdraw that part of the answer. Withdraw, Mr Speaker. Further supplementary? Answer. Further supplementary? Point of order, Mr Speaker. Or do you wish to continue? Oh, your I'm answer? happy to. I'm also happy to say that it's not just about money in, a in this country. It's about parental responsibility. And that's something that I take very seriously. Supplementary? Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. If there is enough money for everyone who needs it, as she has stated, can she tell the House what percentage of families defined as being in income poverty are also in work? The Honourable Judith Collins. Well, Mr Speaker, I have indulged the member, but really, if she... Order. As I said yesterday, and as I say again, I'm speaking as the Member of Parliament for Papakura, but I'm very happy to say to that member that if she wants to put a question down on notice, I'm sure the appropriate member minister will answer the detailed question. Speaker. Order. Point of order, 
Chris Hipkins. Mr Speaker, a Minister of Police speaking to a police association conference can only be speaking in her capacity as a Minister of Police. She would not have been invited as, the, as, an, as an individual member of Parliament, and therefore it's more than acceptable to ask questions about the statements she made in her ministerial capacity and expect her to answer them. No. The member is on this occasion half right. It is certainly acceptable to ask the question, but when I consider the general nature of the, the primary question, it is not unreasonable that the Minister then is unable to answer the detail that was asked in that question. And if the member wants further guidance on this, I refer him to Speaker's Ruling 1913 and 1914. Further supplementaries? Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary. Is she telling parents like Ebony Andrews, who despite Order. stringent budgeting is left with $80 a week on her income as a learning support teacher and has to rely on kids can to provide basics like food, clothing and shoes for her family, that she has all the money she needs to get by, or is she telling her that she's a bad parent? The Honourable Judith Collins. No, Mr Speaker, what I am saying to that person who is now being quoted by Ms Ardern is that I do not agree with the Labour Party or Mr Stuart Nash, who today said that poverty causes crime. I don't believe that. Question 